The rugged shoreline, sparkling waters, and pristine beaches on the island of Lanai make this Four Seasons Resort one of the world's most sought-after vacation destinations. Billionaire founder of Oracle Corporation Larry Ellison loved the remote Hawaiian getaway so much he bought it, along with 98% of the entire island, for a reported $300 million. But Ellison was just getting started because he then commissioned a major renovation of the hotel. Check in here and you have 90,000 acres of Ellison's personal paradise to explore. General Manager Tom Rollins is taking us on a tour. When you arrive, you truly feel you have arrived. The team is there with welcome drinks, oshibori towels. You have just been put into this cocoon that is Four Seasons service. There's plenty to see inside the Tech Titan's five-star hotel too, like the multi-million dollar Polynesian art collection, lush lagoons filled with Japanese koi fish, and the native botanical garden that surrounds waterfalls and dipping pools designed to give sunbathers total privacy. But when you're a guest here, the amenities go far beyond the hotel's boundaries. You have this island to yourself. You have all of the activities one would wish to do right here. Want to hit the links? Ellison also owns the Jack Nicklaus design course. There are ocean views from every hole, and the biggest perk? You don't need a tee time to go play golf. You treat this as your private golf course, and you just walk on up, and the team is there uh, waiting for you. Billionaire Bill Gates enjoyed playing here so much, he got married at the 17th tee. But if being one with nature is more your thing, you can also head over to the stables for a relaxing trail ride, guided by local cowboys. Or you can sightsee the way Larry does. For an extra 1600 bucks, the Four Seasons will give you a flight lesson from the airport that Ellison owns. And after all that adventuring, you can return to the hotel's luxurious penthouse suite overlooking Hulupe Bay. When you're a guest at the Ali'i Royal Suite, you're truly treated like royalty. There's a luxe master bedroom with a drop-down TV and two additional bedrooms for guests. Reserving the spacious quarters will run you $21,000 a night, making it the most expensive hotel suite in all of Hawaii. We have guests who have checked in here and make this their home. They will stay a week, two weeks, three weeks here. Because if you can't afford to buy the entire island, a few weeks of the royal treatment may be the next best thing. If you're looking for the ultimate summer playhouse, nothing says game on like this estate in the heart of Southampton, New York, that just hit the market for 35 million. You don't want to miss a single detail of the 16,000 square foot fantasy home, starting with the front door that's inspired by an Italian sports car. We actually went to Ferrari and bought their paint and had the front door finished just like a Ferrari would be. Developer John Keynes revved up the mansion with all sorts of one-of-a-kind touches. Like this living room fireplace that stretches over two stories, covered in rare silver streaked marble. We wanted to do something very different. So we really took our time doing every little detail in this house to make it perfect. John souped up the dining room with a high-tech table that's sure to wow guests at your next dinner party. It's almost like a fine watch. You can watch all the components moving as you hit a button remotely, and you can watch the table expand or contract. Load up this floating staircase and you'll discover even more head-turning opulence in the master, where you can lounge in a fur-filled sitting area that's warmed by a $50,000 designer fireplace, or bask in the sweet sun-drenched wraparound vistas. You can enjoy a different kind of view in the master bath. It's sleek, it's sexy, it's young, it's what people want. And because nothing here is run-of-the-mill, even the dolomite chevron floor offers a unique twist with its staggered composition. This Hamptons homestead harbors a few more lavish surprises underground. This is definitely a man cave on steroids. You can shoot hoops in this subterranean basketball court, 
catch a film with 13 friends in the star-topped movie theater, or knock back a round at the lounge's backlit bar. I think no one really wants to leave the lower level. This is where everybody wants to hang out. But if you do decide to come up for air, there's plenty of fun to be had outside as well. The meticulously manicured four-acre property features a giant swimming pool that includes a beach-like shoreline with tanning beds. And if you stroll past the well-appointed pool house, you can swing a racket on the sunken tennis court. But if you'd rather swing a club, then head up to the rooftop putting green to sharpen your stroke. Now, all of this fun does come with that very serious eight-figure bill. And if you want your playground in the Hamptons to come completely furnished, John says that'll cost you another few million bucks. Which just goes to show the price for a good time in these parts is a lot higher than just about anywhere else. This $29.5 million Miami mansion was designed to be a work of art that can also comfortably house a large family. Its ultra-modern rectangular frame is sculpted out of concrete, with floor-to-ceiling glass walls facing South Beach on one side, and on the other, something I've never seen before. A curvaceous elevated promenade carved out of Brazilian teak wood that meanders from the property's front entrance to the main home's upper level, where the windows are adorned with a perforated screen handcrafted by a museum caliber artist in New York. Look down below the raised promenade and you'll see the estate's one-of-a-kind water feature, a Monet-worthy man-made lagoon, surrounded by lush vegetation and filled with koi. This is a freshwater lagoon, it's actually 86,000 gallons, almost three pools, that has fish in it, and you can swim. You can swim with the fish? Yes. Real estate broker Mickey Sherkoski is in charge of selling this artistic achievement and taking us inside. A teak door opens to reveal a 70-foot-long living room with a massive balcony overlooking Miami's Indian Creek. One of the top architects in the world collaborated with one of the top builders in the nation and created this masterpiece, which is really a mixture of raw materials, concrete, wood, and stone. That natural beauty continues in the Lux Master Suite that leads out to a saltwater pool surrounded by delicate fountains. There's also a sunken outdoor living room for alfresco entertainment and four additional bedrooms to accommodate guests. Each, of course, comes with its own lagoon view. And the best part? Mickey says like any work of art, this Miami magnum opus is also a sound investment. This is like a Picasso. It would be more valuable with time. A picture-perfect opportunity if you have about 30 million to spare.